Welcome to the Pediatric Review, where I help you prepare for your pediatric nursing exams. If you would like a copy of the study guide, you can find it on my website, blossomwithjessica.com. Usually they dress their self, they know real from pretend. Okay, so let's talk about integumentary disorders. So the first one is eczema. This is an inflammation of the epidermis associated with a family history of the disorder. Signs and symptoms include red and scaliness on the skin, papules and vesicles that are oozing and crusting. Our nursing interventions include avoiding exposure to skin and irritants or excessive bathing, intermittently apply cold and wet compresses to soothe, administer antihistamines, topical steroids or antibiotics, prevent scratching and keep clean, and instruct the patient to wash clothes with a mild detergent and take measures to prevent infection. Then we have impetigo. So this is a bacterial infection of the skin due to poor hygiene or infected bite or rash. It mostly occurs during hot, humid months. It will appear most commonly on the face and mouth, neck and extremities. Signs and symptoms include vesicle or pustule, that progresses to an exudative lesion with honey-colored crusts. They'll have burning and pruritus. Our nursing interventions include contact precautions. It's highly contagious. Keeping lesions open to the air and let it dry out. Daily bathing, warm saline compress to lesions two to three times a day. Topical and oral antibiotics, proper hand hygiene, and using separate towels or linens for patients. So lice. Signs and symptoms are scratching scalp and you'll see little white nits in the hair. Our nursing interventions are using a medication that is going to kill the lice, extra fine tooth comb to remove them. So you'll comb through the hair to get them out and then the comb is either discarded or soaked in boiling water for 10 minutes. You change and clean clothes and linen daily in hot water and in a hot dryer for at least 20 minutes. No sharing of clothes, hats, or brushes, and siblings may also need to be treated. Then we have scabies. So this is a parasitic skin infection, a skin disorder caused by an infection. The incubation period is the female mite burrows into the epidermis, lays eggs, and dies after a month. The infectious period is during the entire course of the infestation. Signs and symptoms are a puritic papular rash and burrows into the skin, so a fine grayish red line that may be difficult to see. Nursing interventions are we're using a topical application of a medication that is going to kill the scabies. We use a Lindane shampoo. When using the Permeth, this is the medication, it is applied to a cool, dry skin at least 30 minutes after bathing, and it is applied all over the skin, not just to the areas of the rash. And we want to leave on the skin for 8 to 14 hours. Clothing, bedding, pillowcases need to be changed daily, washed in hot water and dried and ironed before reusing. This process must be completed for a week. Non-washable toys should be placed in a sealed plastic bag for at least four days. So now let's talk about burns in children. So burns in very young children have a high mortality rate. Children burns are often worse because their skin is thinner. And any burn covering 10% or more of a total body surface will require fluid resuscitation. Children do not use the rule of nines as their body proportions are different. So our nursing considerations, if it is a major burn, we are first assessing for airway breathing circulation. Then we begin resuscitation measures if necessary. So assess adequacy of fluid resuscitation, vital signs, especially heart rate, urine output, adequacy of capillary refill, and their sensory status. Fluid replacement is needed during the initial 24 hour period after a burn, and crystalloid solutions are used during the initial phase of therapy removed burned clothes and jewelry, cover wounds with a clean cloth, and keep the child warm. If you would like a copy of the study guide, you can find it on my website, blossomwithjessica.com.